We are back now, as promised, with our in-depth report tonight about one of the most spectacular but unseen places on Earth, the planet's deepest canyon, the Marianas Trench. It stretches across the Pacific Ocean floor an enormous distance. Thousands of square miles of this undersea environment were designated a protected national monument by President Bush. We sent our own Ian Williams to take a closer look, part of our series marking Green Week here at NBC. The North Mariana Islands, tiny dots in the Pacific. But a dazzling world of pristine reefs still ruled by giant predators. The waters now protected in a vast new marine national park. There are bubbling undersea volcanoes hosting unique species of crab and shrimp, and they're just the ones we know about. And the Mariana Trench, the deepest canyon on Earth. It would swallow Mount Everest, its bottom seven miles beneath the surface, and only one manned expedition has ever made it down there. We can reach the moon, but we can't reach the bottom of the Marianas Trench, so what kind of life is down there? What, what kind of scientific discoveries are, are yet to be found? Now under U.S. federal protection, commercial fishing and oil and gas exploration will be restricted in an area the size of Oregon. There is a science meeting in the library. It's a new frontier for science. The Thompson, a research ship from Oregon State University, has been exploring the underwater park's volcanic depths. About half of the species we've found are new to science. It's really a fantastic frontier. This is the first of several ambitious expeditions planned over the coming months. Scientists are calling it a new era in marine exploration. Who wrote a letter to the president in this room? It's also a victory for the people of Saipan, the capital of the North Mariana Islands. The tiny population campaigned hard to protect an area best known for some of the fiercest battles of the Pacific War. Preserving the ocean, protecting the environment is very important to our very survival. But a visit to Saipan's existing protected areas shows the challenge of balancing conservation against livelihoods. The telltale signs of illegal fishing, tackle twisted around the delicate coral. The challenge now is how best to manage these vast new protected areas and, crucially, how to enforce the rules. The authorities have yet to decide how tight the new restrictions will be, but it will be hard to police, even with satellite surveillance. Villa Gomez likens it to the establishment of Yellowstone, the first national park on land in 1872. I would hope that other nations look at what the United States has done, and they've sort of set a new paradigm of ocean conservation. Recognition that there's so much more to these waters than the decaying remnants of war. Ian Williams, NBC News, Saipan.